welcome back to Suit Up. And like I said, we feature amazing individuals in the fashion, arts, and lifestyle to actually show us what are the trends out there in the industry and how you can actually be a part of it. So if you like what you see and hear in this program, you could try it out for yourself and find out if really it is meant for you. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about... Aerography. Well, anyway, um, it's the first time I've heard of it. And uh, right now, we have the creative director um, of Aerography Exhibit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Suit Up, Sir Ice. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, MB. Hi. So good nice morning. to be here. Same here. It's so nice to, to be here with you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, along with him is also uh, one of the participating artists. We have Sir Joe. Yes, Hello, that's, that's you. So Good morning, sir. Well. Yeah, and it's great to actually speak to fellow artists. Yung talagang in uh, the, the you guys love what you're doing. You've been doing it for quite some time, and you're sharing your expertise to the rest of uh, our viewers. So thank you for that. Um, I'd like to ask first, uh, Sir Ice, because uh -huh. a while ago, um, if you missed the earlier segment, we had uh, Juni and Bianca talk about they are uh, participating artists. So Juni is the one who's going to be drawing a lot of the. The, well, it's not hairstyles. It's really about concepts of, of hair. And Bianca, she just showed you a mini video of the myths about hair. So now, um, Sir Ice, you are the brain behind this. Actually, it's it's me and Juni. He and I have been friends for a long while. And it started in a little conversation about our um, fixations and, and um, interests uh, as, as children, as, as young artists. Okay. And um, um, I related how, as a kid, I would doodle a lot of shapes and silhouettes, and they would end up looking like big masses of hair. And then he started talking about his obsession about people's behavior towards hair. Like, oh. I'm, I'm not sure if you're familiar with some people having um, mental conditions where they eat their own hair right, things like right, that right. so yes. we we thought of um coming up with a show where we could present provocative disturbing um images about hair wow okay now i'd like to ask you this why did you decide to 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 do this i mean you know there's so much um concepts out there why this particular concept and it, it focuses on disturbing and prov provocative types well i know i know that a lot of, of shows elsewhere have staged um themes about hair but right, right. i i i'm not sure if it's been done here in the philippines especially in manila uh but um when when we developed the concept of the show we thought that it would be nice to include younger artists right. that need the exposure to to launch their careers so we needed the, the right topic that, that will attract enough attention. So it, it needed to be intriguing, engaging, provocative. So I, th I thought that hairography was the perfect um, theme for that kind of show. Wow, okay. And, and when, was, uh, when is this uh, hairography exhibit going to be? When, where uh, will it be? Um, we're we're um, looking for five venues, so we're still in the process of talking to galleries. And um, Sergio here, he's from One Manila Gallery. They're helping us nail down the best venues. But uh, we're starting at Cubao Expo, okay. and then we're moving towards Fort and towards the sa galleries in the south. But um, uh, the show will start tentatively or sometime around May, and it will it will run for two to three months, all the way to July. Okay, so what uh, can our viewers expect? Basically, it's different forms of art um, that really just express hair. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's not your typical um, art show or art exhibit because aside from um, the traditional paintings, um, we also have motion graphics. We have um, short film entries about hair from Mint College. Uh, we also have... Um, spoken word or live poetry performances from different artists, and we have live bands performing about oh. about songs about hair too. What? Uh, songs about hair. Yeah. So everything has hair. Yes. <laughs> All it's, right. it's, uh, actually, the subtitle of the show is um, a very hairy narrative. A very hairy narrative. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and uh, what's this? Do you have a website or a Facebook so people could actually check out more details it's, about this it's event? It's coming up. Yes, actually, we have a page under Social Cast New Media, which is the organizing body for this exhibit. So um, if people would like to find out more about hairography, you could just go to socialcastnewmedia.com slash hairography. Okay, and if they'd like to join as well... Yes, uh, we'll be posting um, call for entry forms um, so that people could join. We're, we're still looking for more artists and motion designers who want to 
put their works out there and be recognized. So. And we're not just talking about still photos or, or visual uh, visual videos. Um, there could also be people who'd like to probably bring in models and, uh, and and do a lot of the stuff with actual hair and uh, probably do a, do a hair fashion show. I mean, so anything It could expand to that. It, oh. it, it could evolve to that kind of show. We're hoping, with, with the help of Sir Job and the people from One Manila Gallery, to really blow this up and take this outside of the country. Cool. All right. So uh, now that you mentioned Sir Job, uh, let, let's, uh, I'd like to ask you, though, um, how are you participating in this event? Well, One Manila Gallery, uh, we have been in contact with several artists, most of them visual artists. Okay. So we will be joining uh, Hierography. Uh, by bringing in several of these artists, mm -hmm. most of them visual artists, and then, in, uh, in, as in my case, I am a playwright, so several other writers are joining us. Wow. Okay, so as uh, Ice here mentioned, uh, it's not just one kind of medium, and one kind of particular art uh, that right. is being exhibited here. Right. Uh, there will be musicians, dancers, and uh, writers oh, wow. as well. So with One Manila Gallery, uh, we have a network of several kinds of artists, and that's how we come in. How fun! Now I'm, I'm also getting ideas. Like uh, we could, we could also let a, a lot of the artists that we know know about this event and see Please, how they'd like yeah. to join. Is there a participating fee for this? No, no, not really. Really? In, in fact, um, because our goal is to promote these artists. Right. Um, right. On the shows, we'll be having. Um, profile panels for them and we'll be creating business cards for all the artists so it's it's really about promoting these new talents and getting projects for them oh wow okay so again it's going to be a two to three month show yes. and uh what's this depending on the the and the venue changes yes yes so we we it's like a tour we we plan to expose these artists to all kinds of social brackets and uh, all kinds of venues it's a roving hair show. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, it's a roving hair show. And you know what? Every time we, uh, we talk about hair, I, I, especially in Japanese horror films, mm -hmm. you see the hair move. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally from up the, the drainage or the, the, the bathroom sink or something. I mean, it moves like crazy. So I think that would be uh, one of the, the concepts people could also play. Well, I think create. a lot of our artists are drawing in inspiration from those kind of horror movies. But yeah, we're translating that into a more artistic uh, platform so yeah oh wow so uh, again um this exhibit particularly is open to any artists out there they may be starting out yes or they may be professionals and they can just try out a new kind of medium and this event is basically uh, a platform for them to to venture into something new that's right exactly wow. so uh, again um this exhibit is open to all ages or only all ages even if you're four years old, yes. till <laughs> even to if you're a hundred plus. Uh -huh. Wow! <laughs> so it, even if you want to be there and just model your hair, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I can. I can always say yeah, thanks to David Salon for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Actually, David Salon has um, this annual hair show. So, um, in fact, we're going to be checking that out in a couple of the, the episodes upcoming. And uh, they always have all these models um, from avant-garde to whatnot, which is so why I was asking you, do you have a fashion show for hair? Because you could probably just include that in the whole program. We might. We might. Um, we're, we're, we're trying to get some, some sponsors involved here so that we could bring in more elements or ingredients to the show and make it just <laughs> all the more interesting for the audience. We want to make it an experience that people who visit the show will never forget. You know what, it would be fun if, for example, you have uh, people, uh, you know, just, just individuals who'd like to have their hair styled in crazy, in crazy ways, and then they're just there, they sign up for it, and then you have uh, artists who will, who will just create any type of hairstyle. If David Salon would be willing to do that for <laughs> us. <laughs> I can ask, I can ask. But, you know, it, this, is, this is why, you know, it, it's really fun to talk to artists because you can create on the spot. Yeah. We're actually creating concepts right now here during Suit Up. So, and, and that's why artists are amazing. It's super, super creative. So um, with One Manila ga Gallery, I'd also like to ask you, how will you contribute as a playwright to the event? Well, there will be some portions of the event um, where uh, writers will be given the chance to read out to the audience ab about some of the pieces that have been drawn in, which have been inspired by hierography. For example, <laughs> I have been able to uh, compose several poems that are referring to hair. 
Do you have a, have you memorized a poem that you'd like to? Actually, it's very abstract at, at, up to this point, but uh, it at, it concerns some lines about the fact that when you think about it, uh, it's of all the parts of your body, it's the hair that is most easily altered and would have the most visual impact in such a short time. Like, That's true. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it's a quite a cliche if you hear people complaining about it. My boyfriend didn't even know. That's true. That's why, you know, that dump that guy. <laughs> really? Yes. And, 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 and that's true. I, yeah, I agree yeah. with you because um, a lot of the females, if they change their hair color yes. and their boyfriends um, don't even mind it, oh, that's going to be like an argument of a lifetime. Yes, become an indication how much you pay attention to your girlfriend. Yeah, right. how much she changes her hair. Right, right. And, and you were saying, yes, aside from the, the whole um, how, how hair affects one's life. Yes, and so as artists, uh, because... Uh, we would like to make hair uh, the fact that it is already it already is that it's, it's because um, we have been uh, we have we have had several things uh, to talk about as artists, but not so much about oneself. We we refer to, to our inner feelings, our emotions. Sure. But as to the visual component of our being uh, human, uh, when you think about it, it's the hair that would make the most <laughs> impact. And just yeah. anyone can can and can and just anyone can. can uh, can uh, alter one's hair. That's true. Yeah, you, you don't have to be a, a very expert artist or a, a rocket scientist just to make changes to oneself, and uh, the hair would be the most, uh, the best candidate to make changes to. That's true. I mean, like if you're feeling uh, down or whatnot or, or angry, yeah. a couple of people would just shave their uh, their hair off and they're gonna go yeah, bald for protest. a whole month, right? Yeah. Or uh, some people would, uh, well, if if they want more hair, they ask for like synthetic hair. They actually undergo operations for this. Yes. And then some would like change their hair color like uh, Bianca a while ago and some would really go crazy to to having all colors of the rainbow and just one yes. uh, one setting so much fuss about hair which makes it a very interesting um, material as a subject or as a medium itself for an artwork great so basically anybody can can submit an artwork and it yes. doesn't have to be just um, canvas or paper or it, it can be it any can be form. any medium we have we even have artists who will be um, doing installation art or live art performances I don't know how that's going to look like I haven't screened them yet but yes and and when we talk about hair it's not just the hair on our head it's the eyebrows the eyelashes the hair on the armpits everything oh gosh <laughs> oh wow <laughs> all right and and uh, but again all the entries are also being screened like of you course mentioned. of course we want to make sure that people who visit the show get a quality experience right so uh it, it's not gonna be something like okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so um and and uh, how do they submit entries by the way yeah um tonight we're posting the entry forms on socialcastnewmedia.com slash hairography so they can just download it from there um all the rules and guidelines of the show are there and then um they can uh, our office address is also there so that's where they can mail their initial entries Okay, and uh, with this, is there a, is there a winner? I mean, is this even a contest, or it's just people who can just uh, ex express their artwork with with hair, or uh it's it's really just for expression and exposure, but it depends because we're talking to to some sponsors, and maybe we'll we'll grant prizes for the best artworks on mm. display. So so. Who knows? We, we're still in the early stages of developing the show concept. Right, right. It's, it's, it, there's a lot of ideas coming in from different parties who are participating. So it's, it's going to be explosive and we're really excited. So yeah, if, if there are people interested to join, please send us your entries. And we'd love to uh, screen your artworks and um, have you on the show with us. Right. And people can just also throw in and uh, propose ideas to you guys as to how to make this a, a crazier hairstyle, a hair show. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, just be able to express uh, the artwork of a lot of the artists, mm -hmm. especially those starting out. Yeah. So they don't, there's no pressure. No in, uh, in in competing, there's no pressure. It has to be super perfect. No. They can even go wacky. They yes. can, yes, oh. by all means. Um, yeah, and uh, they don't have to worry about like you asked earlier fees for joining the yes, show. Yes. No, all they need to worry about is what they'll spend on the materials they'll be using on their artworks. That's it. No chance that anyone would be getting a, ha a bad hair day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's yeah. no such thing as a bad hair day. I see. Okay. And uh, with this, um, now how do how can people contact you guys if they do have any further questions regarding the the hair hairography exhibit that you're going to be having? 
I mean, do you have a, a number or just they can just visit the website? Uh, they can visit the website or um, get in touch with us um, uh, with SocialCast, the organizers. You can reach us at 0917-801-1484. And you can um, get in touch with Sir Job for One Manila Gallery yes. at his number. Uh, for One Manila Gallery, they can contact 211-5946 or mobile 917-5946. Five four five six seven five eight. Great. And uh, well, right now there are people who are already submitting entries, right? Yes. yes. For you guys, what is the most interest, or what are the some of the interesting ones that you've already been screening? We're working with this photographer, Fade Longboy. His entries are. Um, uh, he, his topic is about hair and eroticism. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'd be glad he's not here today. Not appropriate for the television show. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, again, in how it's going to be uh, produced is that people can go to different parts of that particular venue. Yes. So they can just select what areas to go yes. to. That's ah. right. That's right. <clears throat> and we might, we might categorize the show so that people get a new experience each time they visit the show in the different venues. Right. You know, this is going to be pretty exciting. We'll only find out how the turnout is going to be after the whole exhibit is uh, being, or after the whole exhibit has already run its course. So, again, I'd like to thank um, ICE. Thanks for and, having uh, us here. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's something different, something unique. So, let's just check it out how it's going to go. And, of course, Sir Joe, thank you so very Thanks much. So much um, before we go, any last messages you'd like to uh, say to all of our viewers? Yeah, um, we invite everyone to um, look out for Hairography, a very hairy narrative. Um, we're coming out this May. Um, we're running the show all the way to July. Um, you can visit us at socialcastnewmedia.com slash hairography. Um, it's, it's going to be a very exciting show, a one-of-a-kind one experience that we hope you all get to see. Um, Sergio? Yes. So all you artists out there, uh, please get in touch with One Manila Gallery. We're one of the sponsors of Hairography. And uh, to several artists out there, yeah, be, be you writers or visual artists, dancers and musicians, this is your chance to showcase your talents. It's going to be a very big event that concerns everybody who has something in his body about it. It's called hair. <laughs> All right. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, I'd like to thank uh, the entire team for uh, really just uh, showing a very hairy show or giving us a very hairy show right now. Um, uh, we'll see what will happen probably after the show. We can show the uh, some of the artworks yeah. that your artists have also uh, exposed during that time. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'd like to thank our guests for today. Um, all of the viewers who just watched the show, I hope you guys uh, will be excited to see and also drop by to check it out. There's no entrance fee, right? No. No entrance fee, so check it out. And uh, again, I'd also like to thank all my sponsors, David Salon, <laughs> for my hairstyle, especially Green Button One, Miss Manch, and Miss Jen, and also Miss Michelle Lim and Miss Emily for all of my gowns. And uh, uh, El Manila, Miss Lulu Tangan and Jessica Tangan. This is Mary Beth Nave. And uh, thank you to Global News Network. We'll see you again on our next suit up episode. More exciting artists to come. So, thank you.